The biggest head in world football. Bigger than f Jupiter. The fattest head to ever grace the Premier League. Slabhead sits down with us and let's just say, yes, it is f huge. Harry Maguire, the real me. Episode one, the nicknames. Oh yeah. F***ing hell. What? It's f***ing huge. What is? Your head. I mean, no, it's f***ing massive, but <laughs> that's ginormous. That's not very nice. Can, 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 can I touch it? No, 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 I can't, I can't. Interviewing Slabbed was brilliant, and he also allowed us to film him train. For a man with such a big head, it's a real shame he doesn't really know how to use it. When he finished training, I wanted to really dig deep and remind him of some real home truths. Oh. So Harry, I'm just going to read out a few things that people have said about you over the past few years, okay? Okay, sound okay. First one, his head is massive. I honestly didn't believe a head could be that big. F me. That should be registered as a planet. Next one, he looks like a micro star. However, micro stars don't even have heads that big. F me, I hate him. Did someone actually say that? Yep, yeah, this was a quote from Jamie Vardy. I hope he doesn't actually hate me. He is a fridge. Why do they call you a fridge? Uh, I think it's like to do with my mobility, but I don't get it because fridges can't move. <laughs> what's, what's funny? Harry, I think that's the, Never mind. It's very clear that Harry Maguire is hated by pretty much everyone in the football world. And I must say, his haters think of some quite brilliantly imaginative nicknames for him, such as Slabhead, Fathead and Refrigerator. But I wanted to know exactly where these nicknames came from. So Harry, where did all these nicknames begin? So it all really began when I signed for Leicester. You know, I was doing the usual thing and getting my photos taken. And I saw Jamie Vardy <laughs> looking over at me, laughing. Well, I knew Vardy and what a big joker he was, so I didn't take any notice. Anyways, uh, so I was just doing my normal training session. And again, I just see Jamie watching me, pissing himself laughing. Again, I tried to take no notice, but then it got brutal. He'd laugh at me all the time. During breakfast, before training, during training, after training, even when I was at home. But then I realised he wasn't laughing at me. He was laughing at my fat head. So yeah. Harry, you didn't actually answer the question. What was the question again? Where did the nicknames begin? Oh, I don't know. The longer the interview lasted, the more clear it became to me that Harry was an absolute idiot. So with the next part of the interview, I decided to spice up the questions and have a bit of fun. Right, Harry, quick fire questions. Are you ready? Uh... Is it true that your head does not fit in your passport photo? Yes. Really? Yeah, they said I'm like the only person in the world. I'm so proud. Wow, okay. Um, is it true that when it rains, your body doesn't get wet because your head is so big? Yes. Is it true that your right ear is in a different time zone to your left ear? I have no idea. Probably is. Fair enough. How much does your head weigh? 20, 50 kilograms. Is it true you once headed a ball into space? Yep. What is your favourite nickname? The Sheffield Maldini. Has anyone actually ever called you that? No. Did you assault a policeman in Greece? Um... 